This is the day Shaquilla Zareen, her mother and sister, have been waiting for. It's just moments before she goes into surgery to rebuild her face. There is so much at stake. The surgery poses relatively little risk, but it's frighteningly easy for Shaquilla and her family to recall what she's endured, what they've all endured. It's been a long journey to get here, but Shaquilla hopes today marks a turning point in her incredible story of survival and resilience. They were fast-tracked into Canada as refugees just over a year ago. Her fractured face, a constant reminder of the danger she left behind. Shaquilla has had to be strong. Forced to marry at 16, her abusive husband shot her in the face. Her mother, Sharman John, heard her screams that night. Her injuries were horrific. Shotgun fragments scattered and lodged in her head, half her face missing. Fearing for their lives, they fled to India. There were nine surgeries in three years. All the while, her husband still threatening to find and kill her. I'd like to try this. In Vancouver, she's found safety. Pulled out of school as a child, she wants to work, but her sight in her remaining eye is poor. I am just looking right now, thank you. At her bedside, a reminder of what she's lost. Hi. Hi. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm Dale. I'm the first Kevin Bush. Nice to meet you. Dr. Bush. These are all the x rays and stuff that she has? Within weeks of her arrival, Shaquilla meets with one of Vancouver's top plastic surgeons, Kevin Bush. Now, I know you've had a, a quite a few surgeries. Do, do you remember what they were? Not wanting to miss a word, she brings an interpreter. There was first, I could not breathe, so they opened up a hole through my throat. Tracheostomy? Right. Okay. The damage to Shaquilla's face so severe, surgeons in India turned to the rest of her body to repair it. So they took some muscles from down in your leg, and then, then and then they hooked them up to some blood vessels up here. Is that right? Yes. And yet there's still so much more to do. Why don't you come and sit right up there if you want? The scars run deep, some visible. Ah. Yeah, so that, that's all gone. Okay. Some unseen. But they surface in one devastating question. My um, Will I get my face back? Yeah, you know, um, I think we can do some things to make things better for you, okay? But if you said, am I going to look exactly the way I did before I had my injury, I'm going to have to tell you that that's not going to be possible. Okay. This is actually really quick. You're just going to be about five minutes. And so there's really no choice. She has to keep going. It could be a year before surgeons are prepared to do the operation. That means there's time to actually step into a new life. 
She arrived a victim. Now she's finding her voice. Shakila has been attending this peer support training group. It's for women new to Canada, and it's been key to her growing belief in herself. Does that make sense? Yes, makes yeah. sense. Okay. Thank you. In fact, today is graduation day. It's a proud first. <laughs> but maybe more important are all the friends she's made. I am very happy. I feel I am not alone anymore. That self-assurance propels her forward. Sharing her story. Do not be silent in the face of violence. It is up to you to fight. A warrior from a faraway land whose weapons are words, inspiring Canadian women in Ottawa. I would never be quiet. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Shakira. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to Parliament. Thank you so much. It is beautiful. She takes her message right to the top. Yeah. Well, this is where we receive all heads of state, and this is the walk that they do, the Prime Minister. A woman who once had no power, now walking Canada's halls of power. Prime Minister Chair, and I took a couple. There's Prime Minister Shakila. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Speaker's Chair, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> the emotional highlight, though, is meeting fellow Afghan refugee, now cabinet minister, Maryam Monsef. Hi. Nice to meet you too. And then the man she's been so eager to speak with arrives, Immigration Minister Ahmed Hussein. I read about your story and I know. Shakila knows she has the spotlight and she seizes it. Um, she's talking about her own personal challenges, right? She's come here, whether it's economic issues uh, that she's experiencing. Uh, she has disabilities that she was describing earlier. Thank you so yeah. much for the yeah. She's even wily enough to serve up her main message. This is for you. In her own words, in the form of a gift. I want every woman to remember that we're not victims, we're the survivors, the warriors, and we're superwomen power to all. Thank you very much. Well, that's a very yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Meanwhile, back in Vancouver, the medical teams have been working, preparing, and Dr. Bush is just about ready. Okay, so this operation is, is, is complicated in that it's, there's been previous injury and surgery. So the planning these, is meticulous. So there are these bone fragments that are still in there that are covered up. We're going to try and find those. Right, so these are other actual pieces of her skull that have been displaced Yeah, by these the... are pieces of her cheek that have okay. been just shattered and pushed into this position. If the team can find those bone fragments, right they'll position. use them to Stable rebuild her eye socket and they'll take a bone graft from her leg to build the missing cheekbone. Her eye hangs down so much that she says she can't, she doesn't want to lean over reading because yeah. it falls yeah. out. Will yeah. It yeah, that's the idea. The idea is to try and support that prosthetic so that it's not just hanging in, these, uh, in the soft tissues. It'll be hopefully better and, and, and that will give her a better look. And Dr. Bush shares something else, something Shakila has been waiting months to hear. I said that you're going to have your operation in 10 days, a week from Friday. You'll be <laughs> Oh, are you happy? <laughs> really? Yes, really. Oh, really. I am so excited. I know. I know who I wanted to Thank you. That is what I think. Yeah, 
team's working with Dr. Brown down below is doing the fibula and that's been planned out with all those computer guided things that we went through the other day. And, and what we're doing up here is finding the pieces. And so all the preparation, piece. all the planning comes down to this. So we found this piece and we're working on this piece now. And then we may have to rebuild this little piece here. This one's a little hard to find. So on track? Yeah, on track. On track for a surgery that ends up lasting 14 hours and goes according to plan. Three months later, Shaquille is back in the spotlight. She's healing well, yet more surgeries lie ahead. Shaquille Zareen is the winner of the Shakti Award for Courage. Poised, gracious, no longer in the shadows. Tonight, she's honored. Rising above the pain of the past, she will never be silenced again. Laura Lynch, CBC News, Vancouver.